Miss Kim, your friendly neighborhood zoo educator, back again to read another book. Today's book is Lion Lessons. I hope you're all ready to exercise and make loud noises in this one. It's really fun. It's one of my favorite ones to do at a graduation of a series of programs, and you'll see why. Hopefully you all can get your lion diploma by the end of this book, too. Lion Lessons and Seven Easy Steps. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know, I took lessons. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said. But first, we must stretch. Here we go, we're gonna do our stretches. We did the upward lion, so lay on your belly and push up with your arms. We did the downward lion, you go on all fours and put your butt in the air. The upside down lion, that's only for advanced yoga people. Maybe if you can be against a wall, you can stand on your head. The rolling lion, can you do a somersault? The flying lion, if you can stand on one leg, you put your arms out and pretend you're flying. And then lastly, shake your manes. Shake, I got a big mane of hair, but it doesn't move like the lion's mane. But shake your hair, shake your mane. That's your last stretch. All right, we're ready for step one. Step one is looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bear your claws. Everybody make claws. You gnash your teeth and you show your fangs. So he tried. He tried his three most frightening poses. The lion was not impressed. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Ready? Breathe in. Roar! Needs work, said the lion. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. Free range muskrat, wombats, organic iguana, all you can eat antelope. Grass fed new sloth, prairie raised anteater, and wild warthog. Are there any specials, I asked, you know, like spaghetti? The lion growled, we don't need spaghetti. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. He hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion, I can still see it. Step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. You mean the little one here? No, said the lion. The big one, a far away hill, up there at the top, see it? I'll meet you there in five minutes. Sprinting is running really fast. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said the lion. Sixth step was pouncing. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death. Uh, that's the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start. And I pounced. What a cute little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, I said. The lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Step seven was looking out for your friends. If you could do this, or you can get a toilet paper tube or a paper towel and make a lookout. Looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. That's easy, I said, friend. What about the dog? I let out the most ferocious roar. Roar! I bared my claws, I gnashed my teeth, I showed my fangs. 
I shook my mane and I sprinted as fast as I could and I pounced exactly like a, well, you know, a lion. Right onto the doggy. Bravo, said the lion. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. And now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. Because he saved them from the doggy. So congrats. I hope all of you earned your lion diploma today. And I'll be back again to read you another story real soon.